so celiac uh, trunk uh, which further divided into different arteries and provide blood supply so we will discuss celiac trunk first and then inferior and superior mesenteric arteries so here the uh, image is shown uh, the branches of the celiac arteries uh, celiac artery and uh, uh, what are the branches and what are the organs which uh, uh, were provided by the branches of the celiac artery so let's discuss that first of all we have to know that the celiac artery is originated uh, at the level of l1 that is upper border of the l1 here l1 vertebrae okay it's originated from the level of l1 and after that the celiac artery will divide it into different main three branches main branches so before going through the branch i will discuss that what are the organs near present in the GIT the celiac artery provided the single organs the stomach we have and here we have the spleen and here we have the liver so all these organs gallbladder and some part of duodenum and superior part of the pancreas it also provided blood supply so here we have spleen here we have stomach c-shaped duodenum the liver ga so gallbladder and distal part of esophagus so all these areas all these organs were provided blood supply uh, with the help of celiac arteries branches from the celiac artery so celiac artery first divided into main branch this is the main branch this main branch go behind the stomach and it reach to the spleen and provide blood supply to the spleen so this is what we call as splenic artery and it is a very big branch and is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and this splenic artery before entering into the spleen it divided into two branches two further branches number first branch which going up and provide to the fundus of the fundus of the stomach this is the fundus so this branch which providing blood supply to the fundus of the stomach it is called a short gastric arteries a short gastric artery is a branch of the splenic artery in which provided blood supply to the fundus and another branch which descend downward and provided blood supply to the body the upper part of the body this is body of the stomach it provided upper part of the body and here present omentum which is called as greater omentum so it also provided blood supply to the omentum and also provided blood supply to the upper part of the body of the um, stomach so this is what we call as gastro left gastro epiploic artery or we uh, we can say that ga uh, left gastro omental arteries or we can say as gastro omental arteries gastro omental artery so another branch then originating from the celiac trunk there is the left gastric artery the left gastric artery give branches to the distal esophagus and the lesser curvature of the stomach that is called left gastric artery so left gastric artery provide which area the first it provided to the distal esophagus distal esophageal arteries esophagus Provided by distal esophageal arteries, distal esophageal artery, and the lesser curvature. This is the lesser curvature. So upper half of the lesser curvature, lesser curvature, is provided by the branches of the left gastric artery. So these are the two branches originating directly from the celiac trunk. And another artery which originate from the celiac trunk, that is the this artery, and it is the main artery that is common. hepatic artery hepatic artery so this common hepatic artery when it move forward okay when it moves forward 
it give further three branches number first number second and number third so the first branch originating from the uh, common hepatic artery is left gastric artery the left gastric artery will provide it to the lower part of the lesser curvature and it form anastomosis with the left gastric artery so this is the left right gastric artery and this is the left gastric artery the left gastric artery and the right gastric arteries they form anastomosis at the region of lesser curvature and provided to the area of the stomach near the lesser curvature and the another uh, branch which originating from the common hepatic artery that is the gastro duodenal artery this is the main artery this is originating from the common hepatic artery it comes in behind the duodenum and provide it blood supply to the duodenum this is the uh, c-shaped duodenum and some branches will go to the superior part of the pancreas so it is what we call as superior pancreato duodenal artery because it provided to the duodenum and some part of pancreas and another branch that the gastromental artery give rise to two branches number first that is the pancreato duodenal artery and number second which move forward and provided blood supply to the lower portion that is the antrum pylorus and lower body lower part of the body of uh, stomach this is the antrum and the pylorus so this area is provided blood supply with artery which also give branches to the omentum these are the omentum greater omentum so as we name here left gastric uh, gastroepipuloic artery so here name is right gastro epipuloic or right gastromental arteries right gastromental arteries it provided blood supply to this region and the omentum greater omentum and they form anastomosis here in this region they form anastomosis and the other branch which originate from the common hepatic artery is the proper hepatic artery hepatic artery proper so this is the branch third branch originating from the common hepatic artery and this branch is responsible for the uh, blood supply to that of the uh, liver and it when it goes up it give branch to the here we have gallbladder it, it go branches to the gallbladder so it is cystic artery provided to the gallbladder and this provided to the right and this provided to the left lobe of the liver so it is called as here is the liver for example okay this is the loop this is the left loop and this is the right loop so we can say this artery is right hepatic artery and this one is left hepatic artery so these are all uh, the branches of the celiac trunk and this is the blood supply to the uh, organs of the uh, GIT that is the single organs so we discuss the splenic artery is the main uh, very big artery then we have two branches that is short gastric and left gastromental arteries then we have uh, here the small branch which providing to the uh, upper uh, region of the stomach and the distal region of the esophagus is the left gastric artery then we have the right gastric arteries then we have the gastromental arteries here gastromental arteries then we have here the uh, common he common hepatic sorry then hepatic hepatic artery proper this hepatic artery proper give further three branches there is a cystic artery to the gallbladder and uh, the right and left uh, right and left uh, hepatic arteries to the uh, right and left loop of the kidney uh, loop of the uh, liver thank you